Hey everyone, today we are going to continue our previous lecture that is Advanced Vedic Mathematics Multiplication Part 2. Now, in today's lecture, I have changed content a little bit. In the last lecture, I told you like I will be telling you about multiplication with 9 at the end. But today, I felt like uh, it will be more fun to tell you about 9. It is a very amazing number. You will feel like uh, for multiplying anything with 9 and related number related to 9, you don't have to multiply them. You can get the output without multiplying them. So in the lectures we will cover this, but I will be covering these first three parts today, which are multiplication with number with all digit nine, like triple nine, double nine, n times nine, and then coming towards this multiplication with only nine, and then multiplication with ninety nine. Now with this third multiplication with ninety nine, what you will be able to do is you will be able to do multiply any number like ninety nine, triple nine, anything with any digit. In the first one. We require the same number of digit in the second number but in this one it will be like multiplying with any number of digits with this nine so uh, after this lecture you will be able to find like nine is very amazing number and one of the fact about nine is people hate this number uh, most hated number are seven and nine i don't know why but in actual nine it's pretty amazing and you will find it after this lecture so let us start now in the first example i told you like it is multiplication with number with all digit nine now here uh, main thing is all the numbers in this all the digit like uh, this number is three digit then this number also need to be three digit then only it will be applicable but let us see first and let us get uh, through the example then you will understand now suppose you want to multiply four five seven with triple nine now it is a big number you will think like you need a paper pen to do it no you don't require it so first thing you need to do is you have to subtract one from the first number from 457 which will give you 456 now the second step is you have to deduct first digit from the first digit of the second number now you deduct 4 from 9 it gave you 5 then you have to deduct second digit from the second digit which will give you 4 5 min uh, 9 minus 4 is uh, 5 is 4 and then you have to deduct third digit that is 6 6 from 9 which will give you 3 now this is your answer so let us verify sorry 457 into triple nine so you can see you got the same answer 456543 so let us take one more example to make it more easy and more funny now you have to suppose you have to multiply 891 with triple nine now first step will be subtracting one out of it which will give you 890 now second is subtracting first digit with the first digit 8 out of 9 which will give you 1 then 9 after 9 which will give you 0 and then 0 after 9 which will give you 9 so let us verify again You can see our answer is same 890109 so you can see for multiplying any number with having same digit of 9 in the other number you need don't need to do any multiplication just you need to subtract and then you just have to minus each digit with the corresponding digit so let us take one more big example so now if I tell you to multiply this number with so many nines like these are seven digit and these are seven nines so if you will do it on the paper it will take you you like infinite uh, time of uh, like time to do this multiplication but with this uh, with this formula you it is same very easy first thing you have to subtract one out of this number which will give you eight one two three four nine zero uh, nine zero so this is one subtracted from the original number now second process starts again first digit subtracted from first digit which will give you one then subtracting second digit with second digit which will give you eight then two minus nine seven three minus six uh, nine is six 4 minus 9 is 5, 9 minus 9 is 0, and 0 minus 9 is 9. So if you just verify this answer, let us verify it is a big number. So 3, 4, 9, 1 into triple uh, 1. So you can see the number 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 0, 1, 8, 7, 6, 5, 0, 9. So you can see how this big number we multiplied in just click of second. You don't need to do any kind of multiplication to get the output. So let us take few more example, but not with this one. Now, before going to the other example, let me show you, uh, tell you one funny thing about nine multiplication is maybe you all know. Like if you see the number, the table of nine, nine one the nine, and nine to the eighteen, and eight plus one is nine, and three into nine is twenty seven, and two plus seven is nine. So if you will go from top to bottom at the end also 10 into 9 is 90 which will give you 9 plus 0 equal to 9 and 9 into 9 is 81 which will give you 8 plus 1 equal to 9 so anyhow 9 completes summing up all digits to 9 
so this is the best part so this thing you can utilize in getting the output without doing multiplication when you are doing multiplication with 9 of any numbers but with uh, on the 9 will come up later but this that was an example to show you but let me show you example with 99 now this 99 you just don't have to fix on the 99 thing this is for multiplying any number with n digit 9 to multiplying with any number with n digits okay now here we have three digit number and we are multiplying with two digit of nine okay the uh, nine number so what I have to do is I have to count digits here so this nine nine is two digits so I will just be taking two digit so what I have to do is I have to subtract one from these two digit which will give me 22 and then I will subtract two from nine that is seven and two from nine that is seven so I got my last part of my answer now the second thing is I have to take the remaining number the remaining digit out of the digit which I already took like I took the 23 so my remaining digit is only this first one that is 1 so I have to add 1 out of 1 to it which will give me 2 and I have to subtract 2 from this complete number so which will give me 121 and this is my answer so let us start 1 to 1 double 7 so this is little bit complicated but let us go through few more examples it will make you more easy let us take example of 799 to 99 so first thing is you have to count the digit now 99 has two digits so I will be taking two digit of this number and I will be subtracting one out of it which will give you 98 and then I will be subtracting 98 from 91 99 which will give me 01 9 minus 9 is 0 and 8 minus 9 is 0, 1 so now my first part is done now second thing is I have to take the remaining digit which is 7 and I have to add 1 into it so what I did is I took this 7 add 1 which will give me 8 and then I have to subtract 8 from this first number which is 799 minus 8 which will give me 791 so this is my answer let us try again you can see how easy it is to multiply with anything with 9 so let us take one more example don't get bored basically uh, why I'm covering this example to make you practice more and the one thing about Vedic maths is it seems it is kind of trick but in actual it is not trick it is all formulas and these are better than the normal mathematics rule which we study like doing everything from right to left so if you will gonna practice this you will find like after some time you are uh, you will become brilliant with the maths especially with mental calculation and also your answer will be pretty more accurate compared to the other thing so now first thing for this multiplication also we have to count the digit 99 and these two digit I will take and subtract one out of it which will give me 96 and then I will subtract 9 after 9 which will give me 0 and 6 out of 9 which will give me 3 so I got my last part of the example now second uh, part is taking the remaining digit that is 8 and adding 1 to it so adding 1 to it which will give me 9 and subtracting 9 out of 897 which will give me 888 so if I just compare my answer again 897 into 99 my answer is 88803 so you can see I didn't multiply a single number but I still got the output with just subtraction and addition so let us take one big example now the in this I have took this four digit now why I am telling you about counting the digit is because we only have to focus on those only digits now here my 99 is having two digit I will take this two digit I will subtract one out of it and then I will subtract each digit from this 99 2 minus 9 is 7 and 2 minus 9 is 7 now as I told you every time I told you I then in the second step I need to take remaining digit now here remaining digits are 2 which is 19 so what I will do is I will add 1 to this 19 which will give me 20 and then I will subtract those 20 with from this complete number 1923 minus 20 which will give me 19003 and if I just calculate it again 1923 into 99 my answer is 190377 so see how easy it is to do this number let us take one more example here I am multiplying with three digit of nine with this the same number so as I told you I have to count the digit so triple nine is three digit I will take this three digit and subtract one out of it which will give me 922 and I will subtract each digit from each 9 minus 9 is 0 2 minus 9 is 7 and 2 minus 9 is 7 now this is the last part of my uh, like answer so for my first part I need to take remaining digit that is 1 only I will add 1 to it which will give me 2 and I will subtract 2 from this 1923 which will give me 1921 
then that is my complete answer so let us try multiply again 1923 into triple nine so whatever I have covered so far like multiplying with three digit with three digit multiplying with three digit to two digit and multiplying three digit with four digit everywhere the step is same first step is counting the digit taking those digit minus one and then subtracting each digit with each one and then taking the remaining digit adding one to it and subtracting it from the first number which will give you the answer so with this you can see how you can ab how you are able to get your answer in just a click of second without doing any multiplication otherwise if you will go with the normal um, procedure of mathematics it will be a big approach for you like to multiply 1923 with triple nine okay so with this approach you can do it very easily so now coming back to the multiplication of nine now multiplication of nine follows the same rules now as I am multiplying with two digit I have to count the digit that is one digit so I will take one digit of it and subtract one out of it which will give me zero and then I will minus zero from nine which will give me nine now second thing is I will take the remaining digit and add one to it so one is already taken so I will take one digit add one to it which will give me two and two minus eleven is nine so which will give me total ninety nine and eleven into nine is ninety nine so let us take one more example now here I took 23 so my digit I'm multiplying is with one digit 9 so I will take this 3 and subtract 1 out of it and subtract that 2 from 9 which will give me 7 now second part is I will take the remaining digit that is 2 add 1 to it which will give me 3 and subtracting 23 minus 3 is 20 so this is my answer let us verify so you can see with this 9 you can do a big multiplication very easily so uh, the starting thing which I started with like multiplying with n digit number with n digit of 9 is very rare you will not get that situation but multiplying 99 with any number can be like possibly easy you can find in the calculator but multiplying with the 9 is the most commonest thing you will uh, find it every time like whenever you are doing maths because 9 is very common number because we have only 10 numbers uh, 9 numbers so if the, uh, other numbers are like repetition of those so anyhow you will be able uh, you will be getting a lot of multiplication which is including nile so with this thing you can do it very easily and more accurately without doing any mistake and uh, in ma uh, like mind only so now one what we are doing is we are multiplying the same four digit number one two nine three with nine now first thing is nine is one digit number so i will be taking uh, one digit from this one two nine three and i will subtract one out of it and the output will be 2 and I, then I will subtract 2 out of 9 which will give me 7 now the second thing which I need to take is I have to take the remaining digit now here you can see the remaining digit is 1 2 9 so my second step is adding 1 to this which will give me 130 and then subtracting 130 out of it which will give me 11637 now also with the subtraction thing when you are uh, subtracting this large number with this 130 never do it uh, combine so you can do this and split it uh, basically I need to record one more lecture over that which will make your addition and subtraction easy but let me tell you a basic now now instead of subtracting this 130 together subtract 100 first which will give me 1193 then 30 now which will give you 1163 easily so instead of subtracting complete 130 together just subtract first 100 then 30 so it will give you the same answer it is more easy to do so here let us verify our answer 1293 into 9 which will give me 11637 this is my complete answer so now this you can see how easy it is so let us multiply one more big number and this is the last number I will not bother you more now as 9 is one digit so I will take one digit subtract one out of it subtracting that digit uh, output out of this 9 which will 2 minus uh, 9 minus 2 is 7 then taking the remaining digit which is 29199 and adding 1 to it which will give me a big number that is 29200 then subtracting this 29200 with from this one so first thing I told you subtract this 20,000 uh, which is uh, yeah 20,000 out of this which will give you 261993 then subtract 9,000 from 19 when you will subtract it will give so uh, do this step by step so this will give you answer 26273 uh, two, uh, 262793 and the remaining is 7 so this is your complete answer let us verify it again 26 oh sorry 291993 into 9 
it is 262737 so you can see we can do a big calculation multiply multiplication of 9 with any number with just click of second without multiplying anything and that is what uh, magic of 9 and in introduction I told you about like 9 whenever we add digits to 9 it make 9 so if we will check the hair is like 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 and 1 plus 0 is 1 then adding where that 1 with 7 that is 8 then 8 adding to this 9 which will 17 7 plus 1 is 8 then adding 3 to it 11 1 plus 2 uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 and adding 2 with 7 is 9 so at the end of the series even if whatever the number is at the end of the day 9 will get you the output 9 if you will add up all the digits so this is what magic of 9 is I think in today's lecture I have come in a lot of examples which will make you more sense to do s calculations uh, with 9 and it is more amazing just practice them again and again so that it will be uh, easy for you to learn now for this uh, for the next lecture basically I told you like I will divide into two lectures but now I feel like I have to divide it into three lectures and it can be four because I cannot predict but in, in the upcoming lecture I will be telling you about generic method of advanced multiplication generic method of advanced querying and cube approximation and cube root approximation with these th three methods you will be able to achieve a lot of maths thing uh, without doing any paperwork so keep learning stay healthy be happy